let us discuss the excretory organs in various animals excretory organs now we saw the process of excretion the sending out of nitrogen containing waste from body is called as excretion it can be ammonia urea or uric acid so sending out of all these waste from body is called as excretion now if you see the invertebrates the earlier groups of invertebrates i mean the sponges the nidarians or tenophores the early group of animals there are no separate excretory organs so it is simply by diffusion through body wall excretion occurs in case of porifera nidaria tenophores it is through diffusion through body wall diffusion through body wall sponges nidarians like hydra jellyfishes tenophores the comb jellies so these group of animals there are no separate excretory organs ammonia formed inside the body in most of the invertebrate excretory product is ammonia so it is simple it is by simple diffusion the waste they diffuse outside now if you see platyhelminthes even in platyhelminthes much of the waste they are sent outside through diffusion through body wall but there is something called as protonephridia protonephridia which are in the form of flames now what is an nephridium a tube like structure any tube like structure which gathers a waste is called as nephridium now this is a tube like structure so it's present inside the body and one side it is closed when i use the word protonephridium one side it is closed and it has got a mechanism to collect waste from that side it, it is pushing it out so when it is closed inside body it is called protonephridium protonephridium in the form of flame cells when i say flame cells so they are like this this is the cell proper it has got tuft of cilia there we got tuft of cilia so this side the cell proper they collect the waste and it dumps it into the lumen so this tube so this it is is equal to this tube so it's collecting the waste and it is dumped into excretory canal which opens outside now it is called flame cell because this group of cilia move like a flickering flame of a candle that's why it's called as flame cells now in case of nematodes in case of nematodes there is rennet cell ventral gland excretory gland or rennet cell all same now it is a simple cell like structure which opens outside so it opens out in some animals there is h shaped canals as a canal like structure in nematodes some nematodes 
you will only see for you will only find that rennet cell rennet cell opens outside by excretory pore rennet cell is called ventral cell excretory gland all same in some nematodes there is also h shaped canals h shaped excretory canals so this this canals they are actually intracellular and they also combinedly open at the same place some nematodes there is only h shaped excretory canals some nematodes there is only rennet cells some cases both are present and when you come to annelids in case of annelids you will see metanephridium metanephridium so that's a metanephridium i told you nephridium is a tube like structure now when it is having an opening inside the body it is called metanephridium so said this 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 is inside the body in the body this nephridium has got an opening the opening is called nephrostome it collects the waste it is, it is a funnel like structure which gathers waste nephrostome present when it present when it is having an opening inside the body it is called as metanephridium nephrostome opens into ciliomic cavity it collects waste from the ciliomic fluid now in case of annelids we have metanephridia as excretory organs in case of earthworms leeches hmm? and polychaetes you can see metanephridia as excretory organs then when you come to mollus in case of mollus you can see again a pair of kidneys if i take mollusk in case of mollus we have got a pair of gills this cavity is the mantle cavity and this is the heart in case of mollus there is head there is a ventral foot hmm? dorsal side ventral side there is a foot like structure the remaining part visceral mass where all other internal organs are present it is visceral mass above internal above that visceral mass there is a thick fold of skin there is a thick fold of skin that the thick fold of skin is called as mantle a mantle produces shell so there is a shell there now in between mantle and visceral mass there is a cavity the cavity is called as mantle cavity the cavity is more pronounced in the posteriors now in the mantle cavity there are various structures including tenedia or gills the gills are called tenedia so here exchange water is coming in this direction exchange of gas suckers and this is from from here originates two atria two atria which opens into one ventricle so that's the heart two atria one ventricle that's a heart 
So they carry blood from gills. Atria carry the blood towards the ventricle. Ventricle will pump the blood to all parts of the body. Now, surrounding the ventricle, you can see pericardium. And in between the two, there is pericardial fluid. That fluid is called pericardial fluid. Now, opening into pericardial fluid, you can find a pair of nephridia. There are actually one pair. So these are actually called metanephridia. See, that's the nephrostome. It is opening into pericardial fluid. There are actually pericardial glands. Here there are glands. The glands collect the waste from the blood and dump it into pericardial fluid or silomic fluid. From the silomic fluid, this metanephridia, they collect the waste and through this nephridiopore, it is pushing into mantle cavity, so along with the water. We call this as metanephridia, we commonly call it as kidneys. But they are actually metanephridia. Structurally, they are similar to metanephridia. But they are commonly called kidneys. You must not confuse that kidneys with the kidneys of vertebrates. Both are structurally different. So mollusks contain pericardial glands and kidneys. Kidneys are nothing but metanephridia. So kidneys they are actually metanephridia and pericardial glands. You see in adults and adults, both cases in adults you will have metanephridia. But in larval stages there is protonephridia. In case of analytes, see in case of earthworms and leeches, there is no larva. But if you see it, polychaetes.